Hello, monsters abound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 20... 22. Two, two little nurglings. Twi I, I had to look at the... It's, it's fine, don't worry about it. Um, of my Kugath campaign. Yes, that's right, Daddy's here. Uh, <laughs> good. Big fat daddy. The biggest, fattest daddy that you know. Uh, let's go on a holy resilience. Look what fathers found, children. Probably in one of his roles. Uh, let's go with, not like, you know, acting role. I'm not saying acting, not acting role. No, very different. Belly roll. Just big, fatty, sweaty. Roll. Anyway, um, right, we've taken Dragonfang Mountain. The lizards are dead, which means that we can now give this to Tretch, and he can hopefully do some good shit. I mean, he seems to be doing okay. Um, what I want to do over here, actually, is... Oop. Best plague. Best plague. Cultist of the fly Valmir. Valmir cool. Get down here. Plague this mother chuffer. Gonna... Chuffin pl I, what is this? What are you all doing? Is it like a chieftain fucking disco? Is it the uber fucking taxi rank? What's going on? I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on there. It's just weird. Anywho. Okay, Gugath. Uh, now, um, Kastalthin's probably going to take Igrov, which is fine. Uh, we are going to basically smush him. Uh, we're going to plague the shit out of anyone that comes anywhere near us to keep them on the back foot, while we then concentrate on basically murdering Kastalthin over here. Now, he will probably start expanding over here, but that's further away from us. That's, that's the plan. It's not a great plan, but, you know, it, it just came out of my hair momentarily. That's the plan. Also, I've stuck a growth thing on Castle Drakenhof because I thought, oh, we didn't actually take Igorov. He's gone back to Voltsgrad. Oh, no, no, that's the second army. He's just got two armies. He's just got two armies. That's fine. Uh, military access. E yeah, okay. Yep, nope, that's fine. That's fine. Quoth the Raven at Glutport. Oh, okay. Uh, that's again fine. There's just plague everywhere, which is good. Hello. Okay, at least you've got the bad plague. As do you, apparently? Or you're just taking so much attrition it doesn't really matter. Wow, they're really like this. It's just a wave. A wave assault. They've... It's like hearts of iron. They set the divisions on me. Fuck me. At least at least they're all dying from plague. That's the main thing. Machines and sorcery. If, if, I, if there was any takeaway here, it would definitely be that they're, at least they're all dying. Uh, oh, you can't now. Can I reach you? I can. You're marching, so you won't retreat because you can't. And, almost certainly, if I attack, you'll pull in everyone else. So you're pulling Castell. Now, it does mean leaving this to its own devices. Castle Drakenov, do you have a big garrison? I mean, it's okay. It's... it's fine. Hello there. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's bop a pop. A plague upon your house, and more importantly, you. Boop. Enjoy, motherfucker. I'm leaving so long. Uh, it says Valiant Defeat, but, but, I, I think, I, I disagree. So, uh, cause, sure, that one. Um, you? All right, charge bonus. Uh, that, that one. All right. I, I reckon we can we can take this. I believe in myself. I have I have big belief in myself. This army's a lot of nurglings. I'm not entirely sure how well that's going to work out for us. These nurglings. I mean, even their max health. They've got 12k. These guys have got 21k, and. They've got less armor, less missile resistance, or well, the same missile resistance, the same physical resistance. These guys have got ward save as well. So, realistically, I don't. I, I guess they're going to cover our advance. 
that something? I guess. Um, they did, like, they summoned in a, a shaman on a spider? Or maybe it's just because he was reinforcements? I genuinely have no idea. He just popped up. It's kind of like the flame cannon in the other battle. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, he popped up, but he had very low health. Um, he also had a, um, a forbidden rod. And he touched his forbidden rod. And then he died. So that, that was unfortunate waste of uh, the shaman there. But there we go. Literally all he did. Spawned, for, forbidden rod, drop dead. Like... Oops. That's why you got to be careful with your forbidden rods. Don't touch it unless you're absolutely sure. I'm glad that died. I mean, it would have had very little health anyway, but still, dealing dealing with a giant spider is, is rough. Have you noticed how sometimes your units just don't get on the fucking... You tell them, that get, get the fucking ladders out, dickheads. And they just sit there getting shot to pieces. Oh, it really annoys me. I'm just like, use the fucking ladder, you numbskulls. Fortunately, they are now doing it. We're bringing up the poison wing globideers. I'm hoping that we can, you know, lay down some pretty extensive globideer damage. I'm hoping that's going to uh, to make the difference because currently we're we're pretty outnumbered. And a lot of our forces were Nurglings, so... Yeah. I mean, the Nurglings are all dead now, so they're... Good. <clears throat> Good. Anyway. Taking a little bit of fire there on the uh, Poison Wing. We need to keep these guys intact. These are our secret weapon. Come on, lads. Get those Poison Wind... The, the um the original ones, the poison wind just did like anti large damage. Now po now poison wind globideers, from from my memory in Warhammer Fantasy, always had like the AOE effect. So it seemed really fucking weird. It was like no, this this is an anti large missile. Really? Surely that would be like Jazales or something. Jazales would be anti large. That, that makes more sense. Like poison wind globideers should be should be the 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 AOE. Damn it, that right? Yeah, like uh, AOE on piercing, that kind of thing. Anyway, uh, they are still anti-large for some reason. Weirdly, I do have this effect on them, which is if we can see it. There we go. Warp gas, so it reduces a lot of stats by about ten or ten percent. Of course, it also does the damage. Doesn't have the dot like in the um, in vanilla, I think. Unless it does. It doesn't say it has dot damage. It also says it does not affect allies, which is a weird. Considering that Skaven weapons definitely should affect allies. Because that's the whole fucking point. Well, it's not the entire point, but it certainly is one of the main factors. The Orc Biggins, who are currently trying to stop our advance up onto the wall. Taking those Poison Wing Globideers in the face. And then we've got the Chaos Furies coming in from behind as well, hopefully to do some good damage. Proper smash. Reduces their melee defense, but increases their melee attack. They've got reasonably good armor. Reasonably good melee attack. Good weapon strength. But not, not great melee defense. And of course they are... No, they're not anti-large. They're not anti-large. I, I wonder what Orc units are anti-large. Because... Goblin spears definitely aren't. Oh my god, look at all this shit. Oh, it looks like Dr. Rick Douglas has managed to make it through the gate somehow. Um, but is now surrounded by orcs. Uh, we just need to keep, keep throwing down those... Yeah, that's it. Just keep chucking... Chucking gas. Just keep, keep going. Oh, we've got enough winds of magic for a little blight boil there. That's going to be pretty effective. They are very closely packed. Devastating. Absolutely wrecked. Several enemy units that were trying to uh, keep us penned in there. Another Poison Wing Globideers are raining. Well, I say raining, but it's more like a, a gentle drizzle. Okay, well, it looks like we've managed to take the walls eventually. Uh, one of the units of Nurglings did survive, so that's good. 
I guess. Continuing to lob those poison wing globideers, uh, globes, poison wing globes, the globideers are the people throwing the globes, the poison wing globes are what's being thrown. And it's not, it's, it's pretty effective. I mean, we've got 30, it's, it's not quite the warp fire throwers. I've got 24, 24 kills there. It's not, it's not horrendous. It's like, it, it is, it is taking, taking orcs down. It does do a lot of damage. It doesn't seem to have any, oh, it does have a massive bonus versus large though. Like ridiculous bonus versus large. No armor piercing. It does have explosive damage. I'm not entirely sure if it actually has an AoE effect. It doesn't seem like it does. But I mean, it should be effective against these these ogres, these ogres trolls. Should be effective against these trolls at the very least, because you know they they are large, and it seems like it does a lot of damage against large units. Okay, we're still trying to break through the gate here. Dr. Rick Douglas on his chair. On the ability scooter. Alright, I think looking at the balance of power here, I think we have the upper hand. They are sending more units down to harass us. They do still have some uh, goblin archers, although not much in the way left of ammunition. Looks like they've wasted the vast majority of it. I don't know why they're facing that way. Maybe watch out for the charging orcs. Guys, guys, guys. Oh, they're fighting the, the gob goblin big boss. That's what they're doing. All right, we've managed to clean out... All of the enemy units at the gates. Poison Wing Globideers racked up some, you know, reasonably good kills there. The the Furies are crumbling, as is tradition. I swear to God, you, you forget their birthday, and they, next thing you know, they're crumbling away, no matter what you try and say. Honestly. Furies. Bunch of snowflakes. Just... Can't, can't, you can't hurt their feelings even one little bit. Otherwise, it's just crumble out of existence. It's like, for fuck's sake, pull yourself together. Your horrific winged monstrosities from another dimension, for fuck's sake. Okay, we're raining poison wind glows down on the boar boys. That should be pretty effective, seeing as they are a large unit. Yep, they are not having a good time, which is good. So I've got these orc biggins to deal with. They are slowly being dispatched. The weapon strength is very, very good. Not quite as good as ours, but their stats are slightly better. But it looks like they've had enough and we are healing ourselves, despite the fact we lost all of our Nurglings, which was, you know, quite a significant portion of our force. We seem to have done quite well. Lots of dead orcs littering the ground there. And now we're just making our way up to where the rest of... A lot of these... I say a lot of these. There's a, there's a handful of you. There's some orc Arab... Some orc Arab boys? No, goblin archers over there. Some orc Arab boys over here, which we're attacking with the Furies. Hopefully the Furies will be able to mop them up before they start crumbling. It looks like a lot of damage coming in there, thanks to them being sort of like just surrounding those orcs from all sides. But now the orcs are going to have the upper hand as well. So they're going to have the upper hand because they now surround the Furies. So the Furies are now taking a lot of damage. But I think they're going to manage to break the orcs before they get... They crumble out of existence for being sad. Maybe. It seems fine. Yeah, there we go. It looks like uh, the Furies will probably still die, but never mind. Honestly, bloody... At least they're cheap to replace, I guess. They're actually quite... What the f... CA! What is this? Glitch in the bloody... Look, look at this. You can see right through the world there. Um... Fucking... Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, just some orc boys and some goblin archers who I think have used. No, they, they still have ammunition, but they've decided to melee fight me instead, which is fine by me. 
And the last two survivors, there we go. Rancid Visitation is coming up on the uh, the Orc Shaman there. Should hopefully finish him off. He's starting to, to break. We have the Poison Wing Globadiers moving up as well. Just a case of mopping up now. We have we have the upper hands. And it looks like Daglas has done it. Just, just tough, tough fights. But he has won. Well, we won, just about. That's the main thing. Uh, let's occupy this. Okay, the good thing is you'd have to march back. And I reckon I can be ready for you. How much did... Nerglings cost 77 compared to 100. So they're about half the price of Plague Bearers and also half as good. I don't know why... I've, I've literally had people direct message me going, you're not using Nurglings enough, even though you're playing. I'm like, mate, Nurglings are just shit, all right? I, I, don't, I don't care. I wouldn't, just because I was playing a Lord who happened to buff Skaven Slaves, it would not mean I'd, I'd recruit a stack of Skaven Slaves. It'd just mean the Lord's bad. And Kugath, bless his heart, just, it just buffs the worst unit you have. If I can afford better units, I'll fucking recruit them. Don't know why you wouldn't. Uh, I could get... S you know what? Let's do something like that. Let's get your little army a little bit. Because I feel like Dr. Rick Douglas here has been... Okay, he's, he's managed to survive. And that is good. That that's that's a bit of a win. Now we want to give this probably to Tretch. I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. If we give that to Tretch, now you also shouldn't. Yeah, you've got no home, so you're taking hopefully fairly catastrophic losses. Yeah, it's not great for you. I'll level with you. Um, what what plague do you have? Do you have the? I want you to have the replenishment plague. That one. That's better. That's more like it. Now you're healing faster. That's what we wanted. Uh, I guess you'd have another one of those just to stock up your army. Okay. Andrew. Let's go and grab some bits and pieces while we're here. Uh, I'll sail to the wreck. What we got? Dark Elves. Squash. I would like the infections. Uh, oh, good. Nerglish Jester. Null plate, literally the worst, <laughs> the worst fucking blue item in the game. Oh, good. Literally the shittest thing you can pick up. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well worth crushing some dark elves for. I want to get you some better units, but in the meantime, you do have some spawn of Nurgle. Uh, so we could maybe go with this. Is that good? I don't know. I'm not feeling it. Uh, no, instead, you know what? Let's just reduce our upkeep Look on the army. Because then we can children. afford more armies. And I feel like more armies, probably a good idea. Now, we were thinking about killing you, weren't we? And then I got distracted and I can't remember what by. Okay, let's kill. So I'll kill you. You should pull in Castaltin, and then I can just kill both of you. And we're all we're all plagued. It's all it's a lot of plague. There we go. So you're gonna pull the reinforcements in as well. That's fantastic. For me, obviously not for you. The the AI will never fail to reinforce. It will always reinforce if it has the option. You'll never go, mm -mm, no, no. So this is going to work out very nicely for us because these guys are quite close to each other. Now that means we have a horde of plague bearers as well as Tweedly and Tweedledum and Doogie and House all waiting for them. So as soon as they come pouring into this side of the map, they're going to get a lot of death heads chucked at them. Meanwhile, the original Empire army that was marching and so couldn't retreat is having to cross this little fjord. 
Fjord? Or Ford? It's a Ford, isn't it? It's a, it's a Ford. It's like a little choke point. Anyway, what that means is that we can use our Soul Grinders and Kugath to just blat the shit out of them as they try and cross. So while the reinforcements are turning up right about now, the Empire Army should never get close to us. Hello, boys. Kastaltin throwing himself into the Plague Bearers there, taking a lot of damage as he advances in. And they've got a lot of Kossars. Of course, these are badly damaged from the Plague. They've been pooping themselves to death. All hail dysentery. There are already a large number of bodies littering the ground. Light boils going off all over the place. Uh, yeah, it looks like Castalton's force is is dead. Castalton himself is completely surrounded and not having much luck. So, bad times there. Meanwhile, the original Empire army is continuing to get blatted as it advances. It's like the first scene of Saving Private Ryan. Except with more demonic entities. I mean, yeah, the, the best the best method to reach someone... If you're ever under artillery fire, definitely walk slowly in the open. That's, that's key. Oof. Yep, I, I'm honest. I don't... I, I was thinking maybe we need to get my plague bearers over here. But to be honest, I don't think we will. A few of the Kossars trying to get away. Unfortunately for them... Their entire army is about to get wiped out. I think a stealth is dead as well. I've got the I've got the plague drones here just in case I need them, um, but it doesn't look like I will. Not not much has actually managed to reach me. Maybe a little light boil here. These archers are now in range to open fire. They're going to try, or they would have if they weren't all dead. Oh, there's just not much left. Most of those units now fleeing back from, from where they came from. Only a few units still stuck together, and it's mostly archers. I could send the plague drones in to finish them off, but I'm like, you know what? Kugath and the Soul Grind has done so well, I'm just going to let them finish off this entire army by themselves. Well, that's two enemy armies down. Two in one. That's that's efficiency. That is. Oh, infections. Yes, please. Ingredients for my blues. Now, Kugat's army will run away, but oh, yeah. it did get a sound thrashing, and not to mention it's already plagued. So the likelihood of them surviving for much longer pretty, pretty low. We should be fine. Uh, what's public order like here? Uh, you're kind of okay. You are not happy. At least everyone is either plagued or, you know, dying from attrition. This is how you survive as Nurgle. You just plague everyone, and uh, then you don't have to fight them. It's it's win win win. Win win win. What I mean, I what does this give us? That so, like, what's the benefit of the palanquin over? At least that it's a fly. What's is it just faster? Is that the only thing? Is it just is it just slightly better? I genuinely don't know. Like that's much less speed. It does give us more health and armor. Okay, so it gives it gives you it gives you armor. Okay, I mean that's fine. If you want it to be a little bit more tanky, that's obviously the way forward. Um, now, I also want... Now, uh, hello. I come to you, my terms only. 
Okay, just to just have the fucking... Where's Howling Rock these days? Is that one over there? Okay, you can just have this one for the minute. I will get... Oh. You will become my vassal. Um, is that a good... Do I do that? Do I do that? I, you know what? Sure. Because then I'll get money as well, won't I? Vassal tribute. It's a hundred... <laughs> I was, I was hoping for a little bit more than 153, to be honest. I was hoping for, no, just a touch. Just a, just a I don't know, maybe, maybe a nice cool 500, something like that. And literally anything. 153 is just... This feels like more work. So the paperwork is the... Pa I don't think the paperwork's worth that much. The fuck? 153? I better get, it better just be like the end turn thing. Hey, uh, join you. Look, I, I, I'm not, I'm not there yet, Kairos. Sorry, buddy. I, I don't like those guys. I'm gonna, you know what? I'll break contact off with them. How about that? Decisive defeat. Oh, I could probably win this. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Genuinely can't be bothered. It's not like the settlement's actually giving me much stuff. So you know what? Have it and die of plague. Yeah, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Like, I refuse. you're all riddled with plague. Apart from you, you don't have plague. But I could give you plague. As long as Castle Drakenhof stays vaguely safe, I can use that as, like, my base operations while I mop up the... Survival. Do I just come down again? Like, is... Is Castell too much of a threat at the moment? Yeah, it's probably fucking not. Okay, let's... Unachievable. Let's meander down here. Now they're going to take some settlements, but if we stay in ambush stance, they, they won't run away from me. Which is ideal. Guess let's just continue hoovering up some bits and pieces. Uh fell cargo. We've got a trunk of maps. A lovely trunk of maps. We'll also get one of those over there. How much money are we making from uh, nope, still 153. Okay, was not worth I look safe here. You was not at least your business. strength rank 24 how many people are still left i bet it's like 24 oh no it's 36 okay so you're not actually doing too badly tretch is our little rat friend he's a little rat friend he's doing okay for himself very pleasing what happens if i plague one of you do you just go around plaguing everyone because you'll hop from place to place won't you so if i give you plague will you just give plague to everyone nearby asking the real questions here and we want to retake. Oh, we want to say retake. We want to take the gates of Zar. You are dying from plague, which is good. Why you contact me? What, what you want need? Um, that. Very, very good. There you go. You have that one. I'll, I'll help you kill those other rats as well. That's that's how much you are to me, Tretch. You are the one and only. Except that other Skaven clan. But we won't talk about those. I see those on the side. You're my main rat tretch. Don't you worry about it. Don't you worry your little whiskers. Okay, there's no point fixing anything because they'll probably just go and harass me over there. Not well, that's really a big problem. And uh, we are building this up though. This is good. Uh, I could probably get some more growth over here actually. Could we do the growth plague? Growth plague be best plague. So we whack that on you. And then you can just like spread that around, get some more growth there. That'd be fantastic. May flip onto the Skaven, but we don't have to worry about that. And I mean, we only need like a couple of extra growth points, don't we? And then jobs are good in there. So that's good. Pleased with that. Um, I could actually. Could infect you and then you've got the chance of infecting everyone around you to be honest everyone's already pretty infected anyway <laughs> which is great that's exactly what we want people dying from plague that's it just saves us a lot of effort doesn't it, it saves us a lot of effort and time trying to kill them the old-fashioned way we can just kill them with plague it's very nurgle no look dungrit I'm, I'm really sorry but basically you, no one likes you Okay, don't care. It's fine. You, you take that. You can just, just continue to die of plague if you wouldn't mind. Did you just sack it? Motherfucker. Not likely. Okay, don't care. Don't care. That's fine. 
Don't care. Don't care. Okay, the nice thing about when they take a town is that they won't run away. Or rather, they can't. Are you starting to replenish, you little shits? I don't fucking think so. I don't fucking think so. I do not fucking think so. Okay, we'll grab this. We'll sail up here, grab this, then we'll start murdering. Or do we come and kill that other Skaven clan? Uh, let's go aggression. Mathlan's blessing. Are you guys still at you war with the other Skaven stone. clan? Good. I mean, you're at war with a lot of people. Make deal packed. Are you? No. Uh, dear, dear, dear. Hang on. Clan Rictus. Maybe you've pieced out with them. You have pieced out with them. You don't like me. And I could just kill you. Oh. Echoey. Oh, you're probably... Probably because... I vassalized you, didn't I? That's probably why. Okay, let's encircle that. And either they can come and try and fight me. Uh, I guess this? Okay, let's continue on our, our journey. I, what, right, what I'll, I'll, I'll send Andrew to clean out the mountains in the north. And then Rick can get the gates of Tsar. And then we'll come down and we'll mop up the rest of those Skaven clans down there. Meanwhile, Kugath is going to, I guess, duel with the Empire for a bit. Because... I I can't deal with all of their armies at the same time. Never. They've even got look at this look at this jerk. Look at this dickhead. Rushing over here to a give that, that's, to every, every everyone is is surging eastwards to come and have a go. Well, I shall meet them with arms and well mostly plague, just plague really. 90% uh, plague, to be brutally honest. Just just a shit ton of plague. And Kugath. If they'll fight me, and they probably won't. Okay, keeping an eye on what's going on over here. Uh, do we have another Valmakut? We do have another Valmakut over here. Let us assault this army. Nice little success there. And an increase in casualties caused. Lovely. You can just stick there for a minute. Okay, we'll move over here just in case they, like, take the Black Fortress or something. We might actually be able to send Andrew into the mountains to, like, hit the ogres where it hurts. If he can keep the ogres busy, then we could always bring Rick. Once he's cleaned up the Darklands, he can come through the mountains to come and help us. And we may even have enough money at that point to get another army. I know, it's, it's fucking bonkers. Absolutely insane, if you ask me. The very idea of it. But it could happen. Um, I don't want to get. I don't want to get anyone's hopes up too much. I'll help. It's about to rebel. Uh, fine. Fine. I, I'm not. I'll level with you. I'm not that invested in its existence for the most part. I don't even know why it's still there. Maybe the AI's got like a blind spot for help. Hello. Oh, you're trying to get away, are you? Uh, that doesn't seem like a very good idea. Didn't seem that smart. Uh, so we've had a rebellion. A confederation between the Jade Custodians and the Northern Provinces is... Well, it's not bad news. It's news. Settlement besieged. Okay, that's fine. Settlement receives plague. Settlement receives plague. Yeah. Plague, plague. Gardener's World. Okay, all the plague is great. 573 growth there. Fantastic stuff. guess we want to come down here. And why are we taking attrition here? Oh, because vampires. It's not untrue. Just fucking get in there. Get in there, you losers. Okay, we just need to plague the shit out of everyone. You're not plagued. You need to be plagued. Okay, I mean, do do uh, we 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 do need to go in here and mop this up, don't we? Because because otherwise, uh, actually, charge charge bonus probably better on units that have some charge bonus 
That's probably probably sensible. Right, we, we definitely we definitely want to kill those goblins so we can get the dark lands cleaned up. We'll grab this and then we'll land at Scrap Tower, come back and grab the Black Fortress, then up. Is that effective or do we just go this way instead? I don't know. It looks like why can't I see Tretch's armies? Like I'm, I'm he's my vassal. Stay in light. I come to you, my terms only. He's my little monkey. Well, rats, but you know what I mean. Well, I should be able to see what he's doing, surely. Surely I should be able to see what he's doing, but apparently not. Apparently I just, I don't... Alright, fine, whatever. Right, let's kill some goblins. Seen as Dr. Rick Dagler started killing these goblins, it's only fair that he gets to finish them off. They don't even have that many missile units. Uh, the missile units are pretty much all I'm overly concerned about. We're going to like take out some of these guys over here, maybe send some of the plague bearers over there. We'll send the, the plague toads around, because they are fast moving units. Oh, they're faster anyway. Plague bearers moving up to assist us here. I'm going to send the, the plague toads to kill these goblins. The main attack is going to be on this front over here, just a case of just splatting them with as much much poisoned wind globes as possible. That's it. Rain down. You know what? I think it does do AoE damage. It must do. They've got like 191 and 116 kills. <laughs> Fair play. It, it must it must have AoE damage. Yeah, I would I would say that's probably AoE damage. That's a lot of dead goblins. That's, that's, okay, the Nurglings are pushing forward. It looks like they're going to disintegrate. I'll, I'm going to replace them with plate bearers. That just just seems like the like the better plan. And they do have some squigs here, some squig herds. I mean, they're slightly better than goblins. And don't get me wrong, I love my goblins. I do. But, you know, overall, goblins aren't great. And you definitely wouldn't want to let Poison Wing Globideers just have their way with a giant blob of goblins. That's that's never going to end well. Okay, so more and more goblins just piling in, trying to hold us back. Meanwhile, over the other side of the battlefield, we've got some plague bearers lining up, literally queuing like for the latest iPhone. But instead, it's glorious battle with some orc boys and squigs as they come up from behind. The Plague Toads coming around. We're going to take these two objectives there and then maybe go and help a little attack in the rear over there would, would probably be good. The Plague Toads are making fairly short work of the, the goblins over here. The Barons of the Bog. I mean, the anti-infantry. We've got 60 weapon strength. they got good... I mean, yeah, it's... it's we just rolled over them, so they're now free to do whatever they want any old time. Goodness me, there's a lot of goblins all all packed into one one rather small blob. That would be a terrible shame if someone started throwing poison wind globes at them, for example. Sitting with a little uh, thingy majig. What's it? Corrosive. What? What's it? What the fuck's it called again? can never remember what it's fucking called. Right, it's um, corrosive. St a stream of corruption. There we go. Right, poison wing globes. Slamming down on... Ah, oh, look at that. Very nice. Just taking out that blob almost. Oh, what I want is poison wing globes on this blob. Because look at this. It's just like so tightly packed. That's a lot of very squishy green goblins. Oh, that's, that's why I like playing goblins. It's fun to watch them explode. And if you play as goblins, you get to watch them explode all the time. That's, that's that's a life hack. Uh, see? That's why you watch this channel. It's for, for brilliant tips and strategies like that. If you play as the goblins, you always get to see them explode. There we go. Can we poison wing globes down here, guys? 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 Gu guys? Yeah, there we go. This is the good shit. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm almost there. Up there. Ah, oh, that was good for me. I hope it was good for you. Nice little 
Stream of Corruption? That's the name, isn't it? I got it right. Hooray! Stream of Corruption there. Finishing off that blob. Seeing them off. I mean, there's so many dead there. The Poison Wing Globe it is with the, like, 388 kills and 559 kills. I mean, that's pretty effective. There's a lot of dead goblins. That is a lot of dead goblins. I think I think it's safe to say that that we've 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 probably got this one in the bag, considering that you know they started off with four thousand five hundred, they're down to six. The plague toads coming around from I say it's po plague toads, they're pox riders, but they're just plague bearers riding froggies, really. Are you ready for this? Don't think they are. I mean, it's not the greatest cavalry charge. It's not quite the Riders of Rohan, is it? But still, it's it's something. And more importantly, that's going to cause a big morale penalty to that little blob there. Who are now going to start breaking and trying to run. But run where? Because they're surrounded. That's unfortunate. Well, that's a lot of... A lot of dead goblins. I wasn't 100% sure on the, the Poison Wing Globe, but it is. But you know what? I think they pulled it back there. And the damage dealt with gold was only 1,136, but they just killed a lot of goblins. Uh, let's occupy that one. Okay, the goblins are dead. The lizard men are dead. The Skaven have inherited the Darklands. Good, good for them. Good for them. Well done. Well done, Skaven. Did I say goblins? Skaven. The Skaven have inherited the, the Darklands. I might have said goblins, I can't remember. It doesn't matter. The important thing is the Skaven have inherited the Darklands. We just need to mop up a few little bits of survivors down here. Uh, keep an eye on any potential threats coming down through the mountain passes here. Like, for example, this dickhead. Okay, we've got plague if we need it. And the garrison that falls of doom is f fine. It's it's okay. It's 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 viable. So we just need to beat back the empire now, and then also make sure we properly kill Castaltin this time. Because fuck me, leaving him with with a couple of settlements was the wrong idea. Oh, I should have I should have finished him off. Should have killed him when I had the chance. Uh, classic bad guy error, wasn't it? Just. Should have, shouldn't have sat there monologuing at, logging at him for 30 turns. Should have just fucking lasered his testicles off. But I didn't. Oh well. Lesson learned. But I'll have to wait until next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.